The man said his wife came home later that day with more frozen food and flipped her lid when she saw the lock on the freezer. Welcome back to They Did What? Your source for the internet's craziest, most entertaining stories where I go over them, analyze them, and most certainly make fun of them. Today, I'm going to go over an article which is covering a story titled Man Backed for Placing Padlock on Freezer to Keep the Wife Out. And a big shout out to Lou for sending me this story. And guys, this story, when I first saw this story, this was sent to me, my first thought was this guy has to put a padlock on his freezer, a big chain around the, the fridge or the freezer with a big lock on it to keep his wife away from the food because she's some... Um, 400 pound beast and uh, you know keep it from eating more but what actually was going on here is his wife has this strange hoarding problem where she can't stop but well she can't maybe she can but she won't stop buying all this food and to the point that he can't buy anything and put it in the freezer or the fridge because she keeps compulsively buying more and more food and stocking it in every corner like it's a tetris game he got himself a new, another freezer. She's doing the same thing. So finally, he is blocking her out from his... There's the man cave, and there's the man freezer. And that's what we got here. And it's definitely a unique one. I never heard anything like this before, so I thought I'd cover it here. Dealing with uh, hoarders and situations like that. So I'm going to go into this and uh, comment away as I go through this. So it starts off. It says here, uh, Commenters support a man who padlocked a freezer in his home and told his wife she could not use it after she filled the other freezer with frozen meals. The anonymous man known as such and such posted about the situation in Reddit's popular Am I the A-hole forum, where it received more than 10,000 plus upvotes and 1,300 comments, some suggesting his wife had a hoarding disorder. Now, real quick, they're going to talk about hoarding disorders, so I'm going to, y'all get to learn something here real quick. It says here, uh, what is a hoarding disorder? The Mayo Clinic defines hoarding disorder as a persistent difficulty discarding or parting with possessions because of a perceived need to save them, including clothes, foods, and animals. Research shows that food hoarding in particular can be a result of previous food insecurity due to experienced starvation, according to Special Projects Coordinator at Eating Disorder, Hope and Addiction, Crystal Cargis. Uh, Food-related anxiety is also common and should be treated and addressed by professionals to avoid disordered eating. You know, I gotta wonder, people, other parts of the, of the world must look at Americans and be like, my God, you guys are always in therapy, you're always on prescri- prescription medication, there's a new problem every day that everybody has a label for. I mean, for you guys that watch me, watch me overseas, you, you must be scratching your head on this. And it has me scratching my head. Everybody has a label now, it's, it's ridiculous. But yes, hoarding is a problem for some people, I get it, but still. Personally, I think they just need a good smack in the head to cut the bullshit out. Anyhow, it says here, uh, symptoms of food hoarding. Now listen to this. Individuals who previously experienced food insecurity sometimes demonstrate survival strategies, including food hoarding. Other examples include, number one, stealing or hiding food. Number two, eating rapidly over a short period of time. Number three, consuming large quantities of food, even to the point of vomiting. Uh, Number four, storing or stashing food. Number five, becoming upset or emotional if food is limited, taken away, or forced to share with others. And number six, uh, very rigid or anxiety surrounding food. Okay, we got a little little educational two minutes there. Now we're going to get into the story. It says here uh, in the title, post, am I the a-hole for throwing away the food my wife put in my freezer and then putting a padlock on it? The man, 39, said he's been married to his wife, who's 32, for four years. He said that although they usually get along, one issue in the marriage is that his wife fills the freezer full of food and leaves him zero space. He says, at first, I tried to solve this by buying the the fridge with the biggest freezer we could find. I dropped nearly $4,000 on it, the post read. She interpreted this as an invitation to buy more frozen food so she can play play microwave, microwave dinner Tetris with the freezer. Well, here's a question. With all this food that she's buying and stuffing in these giant freezers and fridges... Does she actually ever eat them in a time frame that they won't go bad? Because after a while, things are going to get freezer burned and all that. You know, things can be be in the freezer for a long time. Or is it such a compulsion that she has to keep... The second one is you, she buys more and more and more. Although the freezer is full, he said his wife continues to buy frozen food and sometimes figures out a way to fit them in. The worst part is when I buy frozen food or freeze something for meal prep. She asks me at least three to four times a day, when am I going to take it out of the freezer? 
Uh, he adds that she nags him until he removes his food from the freezer to make space for something she won't be touching for six months. See, guys, this is an example why you take your time to get to know someone before you marry them. Okay, clearly, this wasn't the problem before they got together, right? If, if you're going to get married in the 2020s, which you know my opinion on that subject, but if you're going to do it anyway, why well, you spend years getting to know what she's like, all the things about her personality, good, bad, or ugly, then you can decide whether you want to marry her. And the final test is to be uh, living with her, to see what she's like there. Because if this is a true issue with her, a true problem, there's no way, she must have been showing signs of this before. Like, I don't believe, maybe I'm wrong, it just came out of nowhere like that. That's what I think. So if he was living with her and she was displaying all these things, at least he would have had a warning through her behavior. But if she was doing all this shit beforehand and he just thought, oh, no big deal, or oh, she'll get better, or she's really hot and, and you know, sucking my you-know-what every night, well, I'm going to ignore those things. Well, that's on him. Anyway, the recently the man purchased a deep freezer for his frozen food and replaced and placed it near the washing machine in the basement. When his wife went downstairs to do the laundry, she discovered the freezer and excitedly told him that the upstairs freezer is full and she can fit more food into it now. You know, given that we're going to definitely have a food problem in the fall winter, for reasons you guys are well aware of, or if you're not aware of, you're going to have it. Then, okay, maybe she's preparing for that. I don't know. But I, pro I seriously doubt that. But... She's got issues. If she wants to buy frozen food for people, or, or she like, just likes buying it, then uh, donate to some food pantries, or you know what I mean. I responded that under no circumstances is she had touched the freezer because it's mine. Not a single ice cube should be put in there. And then I told her not to even ask because I know she'd mentioned three to four times a day that she needs more freezer room. She sulked and tried to debate the issue, but I was able to placate her. The fact that she keeps bringing this up multiple times a day and she's sulking and pouting, this chick needs some freaking help. Seriously, she's got issues. But when he went down to the freezer a few days ago, he said it was nearly 70% full of microwave dinners. He added that the upstairs freezer was also completely full. How about filling the fridge and the freezer with more healthy things instead of fucking uh, TV dinners and, and, and junk? Sure, you can get better quality ones, but you guys get my point here. I calmly went downstairs with a large garbage bag, threw everything into it, and then tossed it into the trash bin. Then I found a padlock I had lying around and locked it with a chain, the post read. Hey, you got your fridge upstairs, and I got mine down here. And do not put your freaking uh, frozen this and frozen that in there. Now, you could have donated that food, but okay. The man said his wife came home later with more frozen food and flipped her lid when she saw the lock in the freezer. She told me I was being controlling. Where have we heard that before? When I told her there's no way she will ever use that freezer again, she threw something like a tantrum and left for her mom's house. Okay, fine. She can go put her frozen food in her mom's freezer. She came back later that day and told me that I had 24 hours to unlock the freezer. Or what? What are you going to do? At the end of the post, he said that although he thinks his actions were justifiable, his wife is still completely ignoring him. Well, that's actually a blessing. Um, apparently, more than 1,300 users commented on the post, many backing the man's decision, but also offering advice about his wife's potential hoarding disorder. One guy said, I think your wife has some food insecurity issues she needs to work through with a licensed therapist. Another guy says, not the a-hole. Your wife sounds like she has some issues. Some issues. Maybe a food equivalent of a hoarder. Another user commented receiving more than 14,000 upvotes. The man replied to the comment saying he suggested to his wife that, he suggested that to his wife and it did not blow over well. Yeah, I don't have a problem. Yeah, you do. If you're compulsively having to buy frozen food and, and fill every space and you're freaking out because you can't use my freezer, yeah, you got a problem. Another guy says, your wife has an unhealthy obsession with frozen food. She needs professional help. It's clear that this is a compulsion on her part that she needs to be dealt with. Uh, also, you're entitled to have your food in your home and that you actually want to eat. If this is what you have to do to ensure you, you have to, then so be it. Yeah. That's my freezer and fridge. You got your freezer and fridge. Hands off. And I got to tell you guys, I'm sure I'm not the only one thinking, how big is this chick? Okay. Is the, the, does she ever actually eat the frozen food? I mean, is she some big, giant hippopotamus, or is she actually 
a normal thin woman that just for whatever reason is a compulsive spend. You know, it's one okay, better it's you know, her buy, compulsively buying frozen food on TV dinners than her compulsively buying expensive jewelry or something like that. Or handbags and purses or shoes. That could be the next thing. She could punish him saying, Okay, I won't buy I'll stop buying all the freaking uh frozen food. I'm gonna start going over and buying Prada this and Gucci this. I'll show him. Uh, it's really common for people who grew up without food without, or without good food. Another user wrote, I always buy things that uh, I think are really good food, but I have an instant fear that soon I'll be out of this really good food, so I never eat it. I try to save it. Next thing I know, my cupboards, fridge, and freezer are all full of expired really good food. And this is why I named this channel They Did What? Because you can't make this shit up. Now for a few comments. One guy says, your wife needs immediate professional mental health health help. She has more issues than fears of not owning her own food supply. Does she visit this insecurity many times daily by opening the freezer and just looking at the food reserve? Have you asked her why she does this obsessive buying and securing a food? Husband is not the a-hole and does not appear to be controlling but rather lenient about letting her engage in this odd behavior without seeking help for her or for them as a couple. Both need to get help and individually as well as jointly jointly might produce good results. And to note, has this increased since the pandemic food supply chains have gone low? Good luck with this. Aha, uh -huh, that's a good question. And I want to know, he hasn't mentioned if they have any kids. Is this a fear there's not going to be enough food for the children? Is this in the United States? Is this another country where maybe there's supply issues? I mean, that part wasn't acknowledged. But this sounds like, I don't know what it, this has a U.S. of A vibe to it to me. Another guy says, uh, look at it this way. There's a food shortage looming and you're he way ahead of the curve. Soon your wife won't be able to sc scratch scratch her itch because the shelves at the store will be empty. I hope you are equally prepared in the self-defense September. Another person talking about a food crisis coming. <clears throat> now let's just see if YouTube will allow me to actually talk about this. Another one says, you really think people want to eat frozen garbage constantly. Maybe he buys actual food and wants a place... To store the frozen things like chicken, fish, etc. Personally, there will be an, there would be an ultimatum. I would never let my never would live my life with someone like that. You you have only one chance at life, so you'd be better be happy. And putting up up with someone's issues like that aren't a part of mine. Yeah, exactly. And again, this is goes into the whole vetting thing. While you spend years with your girl and getting to know her and all things about her personality, how she is at communicating. Uh, resolving issues, how she is with money, how she is with her family, what the family's like, and the final test to see what she's like is living with her. This should have been revealed if he lived with her. But again, a lot of guys can get so blinded by the uh, the hooking up and all that and her beauty, they might overlook this stuff. Who knows? So turn a blind eye. Well, now he has to deal with it. So, but anyhow, guys, although this is bizarre, because I've never heard this before, food hoarding like, like this, it could be worse. Again, it could be... Uh, Gucci bags or, or expensive shoes or I don't the Jimmy Choo's I, I don't know these freaking things but Gucci Prada I know those names Jimmy Choo's anything expensive useless crap that women like to buy it could be worse than stocking up on that or jewelry but anyhow it'll be very interesting to see how this plays I'll keep I'll keep an eye on this article see what happens because as of yet there weren't any updates all right guys that is it for today be sure to comment down below let me know what you think about this let me know what you think do you think this guy was an a-hole or is he totally reasonable in this let me know guys do you happen to know anybody that had a food hoarding problem like this i'd like to hear about it and be sure to like the video share with your friends and subscribe and i'll catch you next time